Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off part 4 for the last 32 round. And here we have two more matches to tuck into, as we will see Louse taking on Dark Ash Star and Aladar going up against Danex Tactor. Right, without further ado, let's go on with the first match. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Louse we have an Alpha Kendra Saurus. Was quite impressive in the group stage for Laos, and has definitely served him well in this tournament, as it did in the previous tournament. Dun, dun, dun. And it will have the type advantage against this Alberta Ceratops, so that could be key for Laos to win this match. Anyway, as for Danex Tactile's di first diner, we have, well, as I said, Alberta Ceratops. And as I said, it will be at a tight disadvantage against that Kentrosaurus, which could prove costly. Oh, that's a tie. I think that'll probably suit Danex Tactile more. Ooh, a crit, but... As I said, with our type advantage, the Kentrosaurus won't, won't take too much damage. And Laos is determined to get other spike arrows. <laughs> well, a good start from Danex Tactor. Of course, one spike arrow changes all that. Oh, the <laughs> one time Laos doesn't go rock, and Alberto Ceratops goes scissors. And I think, even with a type disadvantage, this might give Danex Tactor a 1 0 lead. Well, that's quite a surprise. And now, definitely a big chance now for Danix Tactile to put some breathing space between himself and Laos. Okay, as for our second dino, we have an Eoraptor, which has become a Storacosaurus. Uh, what moves will, what move will it have? Okay, that's Thunder Bazooka. Mm, not ideal, but, you know, Laos needs to get some hits off, because he hasn't got one yet. But oh, finally Laos gets off a hit. There's the defense boost and there's the tie bomb. Ties will now suit Laos. And defense boost should come in handy. Oh here comes a hit from the Alberta Ceratops though. And yeah, look at that. Defense boost doing its job. Oh, and, the, and that will be all she wrote for Albert the Ceratops, as a stuck Eoraptor evens the score for Lesp. So, Danex Tactor. No, not Danex Tactor. Okay, as for. I, for, I forgot. I, I, I've, had, I've had a brain freeze. I only need to check. Dark Ash Star, so I, <laughs> I had a complete meltdown there. Right, anyway, as for Dark Ash Star's second die, no, we have a Super Paris. And that reminds me that I need to get my notes out. Okay. Okay, we can mode on five, so we should, we might see it. There's the Troodon there for the move block. But again, that defense boost doing its job. And preventing Eoraptor from taking too much damage. Oh, but this crit is lethal. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's twice. Oh, that's a tie. And that will suit the Eoraptor more because of that blunder type. Nullifying that move block. Giving giving Dark Ash Star a taste of their own medicine. Ooh, but Super Paris will give Okay, okay, it will not give Dark Ash Star two when you leave. However, nope, nope, not yet. 
I determined to give her a 2 1 lead, aren't I? Okay, there's your 2 1 lead. At me now. You got your 2 1 lead. Ooh, are we on for an upset here? As for Louse's third dino, we have an Isosaurus. Well, I will say though, if you can get past this Super Paris, the Isosaurus will be at a tight advantage against the Black T Rex. Of course, that didn't matter the first time, so it probably won't matter this time. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, there's a tie. And now, that definitely suits Dark Ash Star more this time. Oh my god, it's Laos. How many hits has Laos actually got in this match? Okay, that's three times. Oh, poop where I click scissors. Oh, don't matter, because the uh, freaking Paris is going to just get hits anyway. Guess, ooh, one more for the Awakened mode, but I don't think Dark Ashdar's going to need it, because the Isosaurus is going to go down regardless. Ooh, but I tell you what, a water sword though. Paris is going down. Laos not defeated yet. Alright, as for Dark Ashtar's third and final dino, we have a Black T-Rex. Even with a tight disadvantage, you'd think one hit from the Black T-Rex will do it. And Dark Ashtar has been getting the majority of the hits in this match, so you wouldn't bet against Black T-Rex getting a hit off. Do, do, do. Ooh, the Futaba Cannon being triggered and the Futaba Cannon being activated. Has Laos turned the screw? Hmm, and all of a sudden, Laos possibly one attack away from snatching the match. Ooh, that's a tie, and that's exactly what Laos wants, because of that tie bomb. Oh, no death fire, but I don't think the Black T-Rex is going to need it at this point. Oh, and Laos has won! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry I kept counting Laos out in that match, because but the Dark Ash Star was getting the rub of the greed with a random number generator, but Laos got the big hits when they mattered. And showed us all why he's won these tournaments before. Defeating Dark Ashtar and advancing to the last 16. Huh. <laughs> An impressive display. Well, not really impressive. But, as I said, they got the hits when they needed them. So, yeah. As for Dark Ashtar, commiserations. But, you know, looking at the matchups. You kind, you kind of expected it to happen. Right. Let's move on to the other match of this video. Alrighty then, here we go, the last match of this video. We see Aladar taking on Danex Tactor. Up first for Aladar, we have a Decentralis. Uh, this guy's been pretty hit and miss for Aladar so far. You know, we've seen what it can do, but we, uh, we've seen it suck. But in the blue corner for Danex Tactile, we have a Gigant Spinosaurus. Danex Tactile, the only combatant in this tournament yet to be defeated. Can they keep their unbeaten streak going, or can Aladar pull off a win? I think we're in for a close match because there is no type advantage in this matchup at all. Well, I suppose if Aladar gets to Eocarcaria, then the Opis Opis Claudia will have a type advantage, but that's about it. Oh, our ties suit in the Desantorus more. Ooh, a good start from Aladar. Getting the first hit of the match. Not much damage dealt though. Ooh, look at that, an earthquake. A strong start from Aladar here. And they had to be.
Look at this. Aladar on top early on. Ooh, but Danik stack the response with their first attack of the match. There's the Crystal Crusher being triggered. Which means a tie will give Aladar a 1-0 lead. Oh, but he won't need a tie as he gets the hit off and defeats the Gigant Spinosaurus. Rightly ho, as for Danix Tactile's second dino, we have a Majungasaurus. Danix Tactile, I think for the first time in this tournament, actually playing catch up. Which shows how mightily impressive they've been. The winner of this match will go on to face Laos in the last 16. Oh, oh, here we go, Air Raid Storm. <laughs> Gotta keep me wits about me. Uh, what's like that? Ooh, this could be big for Danek Fractal here. They can't afford to let Aladar pull away. And I didn't mess up the Air Raid Storm, so maximum damage will be dealt. Like you'll be able to do that. Oh, the Desantereras died. Okay. <coughs> As for Aladar's second dino, we have a Super Epistocena Claudia. This beast could be key for Aladar to, to turn the screw of this match in his favour. Uh, wait the mode on three, and we might actually see it. Well, I think we will see it. Unless Danek's tackle gets like two air raid storms off. But that won't be happening this time because Aladar went for rock as well. Ooh, what have we got here? We got an ocean panic. Panic time for Danex Tactile because this ocean panic might remove one of his moves and give Aladar the upper hand. And if you watch Aladar's first match of this tournament, you definitely saw what this Epistocela Claudia did. However, it did not get off the shockwave effect. Which is quite a rarity, so Danix Tactile. Well. A chance missed for Aladar there. But. Oh, oh, another tie. What are we going to have this time? It's another Ocean Panic. Ties suit in Aladar more than they are Danix Tactile. Even though Danix Tactile has the Sonic Blast, the Epistocela Claudia has a lot more technique than the Majungasaurus. And there's the shockwave effect. Okay, that's twice. And a piss to see the Claudia will be going scissors. Nope, can't go one. But you go paper, and Danek's tackle is in a bit of trouble. Because here's that tight disadvantage I mentioned here. With the super Eocarcaria coming in. Facing the super Epistocela Claudia. Claudia. And the Epistocela Claudia will be in awakened mode next round. Well, as soon as the icon appears. And then Danek's Tactile will be in serious trouble. Is there is there an beaten run in the tournament ending here? Or can they pull this back? Ooh, they got a hit. Crucial hit there. <coughs> okay, with the mode on. Four for your Kakaria, so once. Big moment, guys. Big moment. Oh, the Epistocela Claudia gets there! Oh, how costly is that going to be? Because Shockwave is going to activate. Which means the Epistocela Claudia will probably get off another hit. That's twice. And with its high technique, Ocean Panic will most likely activate. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Danex Tactile! I think that next tactile's unbeaten streak's gonna come to an end. But as we saw in the first match, don't count him out yet. <coughs> Alright, as for Aladar's third dino, we have an Omega Eocarcaria. I think this is what I wanted to see a clash of the Eocarcarias, the Omega Armor versus the Super Eocarcaria. And I think, yeah, they actually have the ident identical movesets as well. The Goma moveset, that is. Oh, this is what you want. 
Of course, Danex tackles Eokakiri has taken up quite a battering, so it needs to get the next hit. Oh, it's over! Aladar has defeated Danex Tactile and knocked him out of the tournament. Oh, what a shame for Danex Tactile there. Unbeaten going into this match. But, as we saw with Team Eokakiria last time, who won every match in the group stage, all it takes is one slip up in the knockout rounds and you're out. Oh, that was quite a surprise actually, but let's give Aladar some credit. It was an impressive win there. And Aladar will advance to the quarterfinals to take on Laos. The last 16, sorry. To take on Laos. Right, that's going to end this session here. So, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time. Where we will do these two matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.